Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the notification menu. So if you have seen my previous video where we have talked about the message menu over here where we wanted to display the messages to, to our department related messages to our dashboard users. In this video uh, we will see how we can create a separate uh, message or notification kind of a menu over here and show notifications something like uh, warning or maybe some other messages that is part of the notification but not as a part of the message menu. So let's go to our R studio and see the server where we had uh, defined the dynamic messages and within the UI and here we, within the dashboard header we have defined the drop down menu and type is equals to message. The another type that you have is if I press tab or try to press tab, okay, it is not coming as an auto list. So another type is type is equals to uh, the notification. So it is not coming. Why? Because we have commented out. So if I just comment, uncomment it for a moment, control shift C is a shortcut. And now if I go and hit up uh, type type is equals to and here you can see messages notification or task so we have three different categories where we can have these drop down menus all right so let me comment it out so that things are working fine here control shift c and it will comment it now what we want is we want to specify the drop down menu here in this case so we will say drop down menu and again you will say type is equals to and here in this case we will write notifications so notifications all right and after a comma we will hit enter so before i move ahead i just noticed a small red underline showing that we need to put a comma over here to make it correct all right we are good so drop down menu type is equals to notification and similar to we had the type is equals to message and then the message item we will have the notification item over here so notification item and within the notification item you will going to write uh, first of all the text the text that you want to display so text is equals to for maybe uh, two new tabs add it to the dashboard and uh, maybe icon is equals to icon and I think uh, let's give it icon dashboard because that's how the notification is is here um, another is like you have warning that you can specify as an example which has which it has given and you can define the status is equals to success so if I put a question mark and say status is equals to let's say success over here. All right. So that's our first notification item. And after that, here it is completing. I will put a comma to display the second one. So we will write again a notification item and we will say text and we will say server is currently running at 95% load comma icon is equals to icon and maybe here in this case warning and after a comma you will status is equals to maybe warning i think it should have a warning as a status so let's save it and try seeing it in the front end about how you can do that or how it is showing you the information. So hoping everything is fine over here. So let's go ahead and run the app. So once we run the app, yep, we have the notification item over here. And as you can see, the dashboard icon is coming and uh, two new tabs added to the dashboard, the one which we gave. And with the warning sign, it is coming. Server is currently running at 95% load. With the help of these notifications, you can run it and you can uh, you can basically uh, make it more and more based on how you are receiving the notification. Now, when it 
now if you see we have statically or uh, manually we had type in and uh, displayed the notification over here but if you remember from my previous videos about if you are receiving notification from any of the text file or any of the dash or and database uh, from where you have the table like uh, the message and the the you know you from and message similarly for notification you can you can automate uh, you know the information where you are getting the text from the uh, from the database or from the external file and automate it like drop down menu was or uh, message item was automated with the help of server so this is the code we wrote uh, in the earlier video where we were receiving messages.csv and we needed to get the from and message information and here in this case uh, since there, these were the two parameters from and message but here in this case you have just one parameter as a text so you can get all the notification in a text file or maybe from a database table and get it automated like this uh, with the help of a similar code so if you have not seen how uh, i have automated and explained this entire stuff please watch my previous video and automate it in this case if you need to automate your notification items so that's all for this video for the next video i will meet with a new uh, type of uh, so here we have already talked about messages and notification now let's quickly see about task in the next video